The vast majority of people around the world now realize that climate change is very real and it has devastating impacts. This year alone, we have seen floods, fires, and hurricanes unlike ever before. People look to the United States as a powerful country and ask if they are doing enough. Well, as someone from Europe, I'm here to say that these people with me on stage and everyone here in Central Park and everyone watching from home around the world, you are all doing unbelievable work. Woo! U.S. leadership is essential in the fight against global hunger, inequality, and the climate crisis, which is why we all join together in asking Congress to not cut foreign aid budget in 2024. After we rose up and pasted posters all across New York City, we targeted our representatives. We reminded our leaders that they cannot turn their backs on today's global challenges that women and girls around the world are the first to face the impacts of the climate crisis, hunger, and poverty. And we need to stand up together because issues are all interconnected. And that the U.S. must uplift global frontline communities, affected first and worst by the climate crisis, and are continuing to be affected today. We must seize this moment to become a beacon of hope for the future because we called out Congress and we came together and they're taking action, but Congress has now responded, but much more action is needed. Yes, indeed, this is excellent work and I am very inspired by everyone who helped make this happen. But we here know that we cannot stop calling for action. We know that we have shown up time and time again and world leaders are still not doing enough. So today we're going to do a little chant and we need, them, uh, that we need them to hear us loud and clear. So I'm going to ask, what do we need? Action! A action! When do we need it? Now! What do we need? Action! When do we need it? Now! What do we need? Action! When do we need it? Now! Woo! Thank you! Yeah. Thank you! Thank you.